Well, uh, this session should be completed by uh, 1 10 p.m. because you just need to have a lunch time. Uh, next session starts at 2 p.m. So uh, I'm very sorry to interrupt your presentation, but we still have two more speakers. So you just need to be uh, pushing up. Uh, next speaker is uh, Tony Wang. Uh, he is a uh, technical uh, director of uh, Xinyang uh, Yuan Aluminum Industry Engineering Company. Let's welcome Tony. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for the introduction. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, I should say good afternoon. Um, I'm Tony Wang from Yuan Da China. Um, which is the curtain wall company. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm very glad to have this chance to share the uh, case study of Shanghai Tower uh, uh, for the curtain wall uh, design and construction. Before the case, uh, case study, I'd like to, to uh, introduce the Yuan Da uh, briefly uh, to let you know uh, which Yuan Da and how, uh, how is the curtain wall company working. Yuan da, uh, the full name is the Shenyang Yuan Da Aluminium Industry um, Engineering uh, Company Limited. Uh, the short name is Yuan Da. The name in the, uh, in the brand is CNYD, means uh, China Yuan Da. Yuan Da was founded in 1993. It's a professional, professional curtain wall company. Um, we engaged in the curtain wall system R&D. The project, uh, curtain wall project the designing uh, engineering, uh, manufacturing installation, and out of, out of service. By end of 2010, the total employee is uh, about 12,700. 12, um, what we can do for the architect and, and the client um, is uh, design consultancy, curtain wall system R&D, um, project design, price budget, soft, soft drawings, uh, fabrication assembly, uh, transportation installation, and after service. So what, uh, for the architect, just let me know what you want, what, uh, what is your dream, I can realize for you. For you. Okay, Yuan Da is an uh, international company. Um, the, the business is covering more than 40 countries uh, currently. Um, it's yearly turnover for the past, past, uh, past five years, by 2010, the total yearly, uh, yearly turnover is um, 2.7 billion US dollar. This is the manufacturer basis. Um, we have some R&D centers uh, in China, uh, the headquarters, and also in Europe, in Singapore, uh, in Australia, uh, UK, and, to and Japan. Uh, we have uh, test centers in, in the headquarters, uh, which is about 20, 21 meters high, a very huge test center. Uh, we can do all the curtain wall performance tests according to some international standard. Um, the products, uh, we have a curtain wall system, skylight system, roofing system, and uh, some integrated systems. It's a photovoltaic curtain wall, LED, uh, sun shading, and ventilation systems. And also aluminum window and doors. And we have, uh, we have done more than 500 buildings uh, around the world, among which we, there are many high-rise buildings uh, and some super high-rise buildings. Um, Yuan Da has listed in Hong Kong market this year. For more information, you can visit our website and we have also an exhibition stand outside the store. Um, you can, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's get into the main part, the case study for the Shanghai Tower regarding the curtain wall design and the construction. Um, that's uh, uh, the, main, the main talk which I, uh, I want to talk in this presentation, the building uh, description and talk about it, then talk about the, the building, curtain wall systems and system design, uh, modeling and more carbon test and construction. <coughs> uh, Shanghai Tower is a complex uh, um, of, uh, with, uh, with office, hotel and, and commons located in Shanghai, China. The total high, height is, is uh, 632 meters, uh, 124 floors. And the 
architect is a counselor from USA. Uh, the chief architect, Mr. Marshall Strabler, is just sitting here. He will talk about this building as well. I will talk, the, uh, talk about the curtain wall only. And what I call it, this building is uh, divided into uh, nine zones, nine blocks. In each block, there are about uh, eight, uh, 18 floors. The shape, see, see this, uh, this plan? Um, the main building shape is a, is a round shape. Uh, and outside glass, glass wall uh, is a tri like a triangle. And in one of the triangle uh, uh, corner, there is a uh, wind, not wind notch. Um, this, the, the building is uh, rotating about one, one degree for each floor. And so the building is twi twisting and well rising. So the wind notch, so see this picture, the wind notch uh, it's trading while the, the building uh, rising uh, uh, rotated, uh, rotates about 135 degrees to the top. So the, the rotating and, and twisting caused the, the outer layer of facade uh, terraced in and inward and outward. outward. So the maximum uh, inward is plus, <coughs> plus um, 80 millimeters. Uh, outward is uh, it's covered. Outward is uh, <coughs> 730 minus. For the curtain wall system, there are mainly uh, three kinds of systems. Uh, see, this is the uh, the, uh, the round shape is um, in the curtain wall. The triangle shape is the outer curtain wall, and in, in between is the steel structure supporting system. The three systems. I would talk about the, the outer layer mainly in this presentation because the uh, the outer layer is more complicated uh, and uh, and very challenged. So for the outer layer, uh, which is wall top A, there is a uh, five systems, A1 to A5. A5. <coughs> A1 is the typical is the main system in, for the facade uh, <coughs> in each block. A2 is the wind notch from the bottom to the, uh, to the top. And A3 is the for, for the uh, mechanical stories uh, in between each uh, blocks. And A4 and A5 is on top of the building. Um, for the design, I would, uh, I would like to talk, of, talk, of, talk about the performance, expansions, and deformations, uh, fireproofing, com uh, the uh, components, replacement and system integrating. Uh, <coughs> for the structural design, the, for the curtain wall, um, we should uh, think about uh, uh, the, the wind load uh, <coughs> and other loads. The wind load data comes from the wind tunnel test report uh, and the other load information uh, such as the, 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 uh, the earthquake and some, some other loads. Uh, live loads will, will according to the local code. Some other uh, uh, relevant issues to be considered, such as the safety, the deformation, the, the movement and settlement of the steel structure, or the also some heat expansion. So for safety, uh, we for, uh, for the facade <coughs> structural design, we design the, the moulding strong enough to take all the loads without a glass fin. The glass thing is just a uh, reinforcement for the safety. And we also uh, uh, designed some, some uh, safety measures, so, so as some hooks, some blocks uh, to resist the, the, the components to breaking off. <coughs> and for sealant, um, for, for sealant of, of the system is more is a key issue as a more important issue for this for the system design. Uh, see this picture is a section pictures. Uh, this is a upper uh, unit. This is a lower unit. This here is the stack joint. The weak point from the, from the for the seal of the system is here. So this stack joint is normal and not so difficult. But here is very difficult. It need it don't. Uh, it's, uh, the silicon is not allowed in this area, the, in the whole system, so um, it, it, here it's very weak and very difficult. We apply four layers of seal for the system, all the systems and apply uh, 
designed uh, the um, drainage system so can can let the lead the, the water get out of the system systems. Sorry. <coughs> For heat insulation method. So uh, we designed all the system is a thermal brake system. The other uh, mullion and transom are uh, thermal brake is one issue. And and the, uh, for the, on the other hand, for the, we select a uh, uh, high performance glass uh, IGO for this uh, uh, facade system. Um, the IGO is a double low E coating and, and with um, increased air cavity, is, which is uh, 16, uh, 16 millimeters. The normal thickness is uh, 12, 16, 12 millimeters. We also use the warm edged IGO, it's uh, also improve the uh, perform uh, heat performance as well. We also uh, use the air, air pressure balanced device, which can adjust the, the, the balance, uh, the air pressure by, by itself. <coughs> by uh, uh, thermal analysis, the conclusion is uh, for the uh, uh, curtain wall is um, the general U value is 1.07. It's very low, it's very high performance. Uh, that is uh, uh, under the static condition. And by uh, by control of the air flow in the cavity, um, the thermal performance will be improved much. It's five minutes? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's uh, get go, in, go, into, go to the uh, instruction method directly, uh, construction part. <coughs> this is thermal, thermal expansion, um, some um, uh, Integrating systems. For for the inter integrating system, I have a, uh, I have one thing to talk. Oh. Let me try. For the BMU system, integrated with a glass, a glass, we have some new idea to to hide the the BMU behind the behind the glass uh, panel. Uh, when the, when use the BMU, we ju just remove the B, the glass panel also uh, inward and slide to our side, so uh, BMU can work. It's a lighting system, it's a heating system, and uh, <coughs> a wind power dynamo dynamo motor system. The B BIM. <coughs> um, for the construction, we, we moved some, some work up for the testing. Thank you, Tony. We must stop here. Uh, your presentation was excellent, especially your air pressure, uh, air pressure balance device is, um, I think it's patentable. Please go ahead and get a patent, international patent. Yep. And we, let's move on to any question for him. Any question, please don't hesitate. Ah, uh, there's a one, two. Okay, please. Uh, I think I, your control is very much curved and twisted. Um, is there any tip for making this control as cold band or hot band, I don't know. Uh, do you have any uh, idea how to bend this curtain wall together with glazing inside? No, uh, in this project, it's no co no cold band glass, uh, only uh, because just because the we designed the, the facade as a street, uh, so the, the it is terraced uh, floor by floor, so it's a street uh, and plain. So that is all segmented, what you meant, segmented by straight glazing? Yes, segmented. Okay. Next question. Anyone else? Oh, there's one. Please. Uh, your vertical curtain wall mullions, do they uh, interlock, click lock when you slide the panels together? You know, do they have the... The BMU? The curtain wall mullions, when you slide the units together, do they uh, uh, click lock, interlock? Yes, it's interlocked. Okay. And do you ever do jobs where they do not interlock? 
know uh, uh, in very um, early ages, we, we do the system without the lock. Is that right? Well, well, sorry, what's the, uh, the second question? Well, I've done uh, several curtain wall jobs, mm -hmm. and um, one recent one, the fins on the vertical curtain wall mullions the, the, did not click lock together like I've usually seen them on most jobs. Mm -hmm. And instead, they were held together just by the floor anchoring uh, system. And it puzzled me why they didn't have that positive click lock when you slid, slid the units together. Um, yes, actually, uh, most of the, the click clocks is just for, for the movement, movement of the building and also for some uh, break, uh, some uh, some different uh, tolerance. So for most of the building, it needs the, the, the click, the block. So uh, only a few buildings, some small building, buildings, as lower buildings, don't need that. For this building, we need that. Uh, thank you. Let's move on to next speaker. Next speaker is... Thank you very much.